Yeah, we can dance if you want to for them games. We can leave your friends behind because your friends don't dance. And if they don't dance for games, well, they know friends of mine. You you guys remember that that track? Oh, my goodness. That is one of my favorite songs. I still listen to it to this day. But I don't know. I just, you know, I know that's my ba my bad singing. But I'm just excited because I'm always excited. I'm always excited when I'm testing out something new and discovering something new i was gonna go into like like this like this big big deal of like you know trying to figure out like how to you know what I'm saying to show you guys some sort of emulation this emulation that i was like i wanted i was kind of like i discovered i've been new about this but i never dabbled in it i never really got into it but i've just been hearing around i've been I, and i and you know what i was like you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and get this on a shot because i guess that this one is like perfect for this particular screen. And the the handheld I'm talking about is the Pal Kitty RGB30. It's something that I've been looking at for a while. I was able to catch it. I caught it on sale and I have it in my hands. And I'm very happy because I've been wanting and a few ideas, especially with the arcade side, because the way the screen is, this is perfect. Yes. So I don't want to mess up. I don't want to get in trouble for the rest of the lyrics of the song. So if you guys can put the second verse in the comments because I'm a big fan of it. So let's get started. What is going on, you guys? Your boy Famous Kid Video Game Entertainment. And before we go any further, make sure you hit the like, subscribe button. Click like, subscribe. It's always a big help. All right, off the back, there's a couple of things I want to talk about in this particular video. Number one is basically the SD card that, that originally came, which is about 16 gig. And I wanted to change that out to to a to one of to one of mine because I feel that a lot of times that these little these SD cards they go out. So I don't want I don't want anything like as I'm setting this whole thing up, I don't want any anything happening to it. So so basically what I'm going to do and usually what you could do, you can back it up and then back it up to another um, SD card. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually go ahead and download for this and I'm going to install it like as it be as it basically being fresh. Number two. I am going to talk about the Pico 8. This is my first time messing around with this little fantasy console. And this particular console, this particular console was never a console. It was never a console, so which is cool. And it runs on Windows, Mac, Linux. So in, I guess in other devices that you could pretty much throw at it. So, and there's a lot of crazy things that you can make your own games. And this is good for, for people that wants to kind of like dabble in doing like game development just want to just kind of make your own little you know little 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 things that you little simple games if you want to make it and people have i mean and there's a lot of games that people have made um for this and, and this is kind of this is this is a this is a fun little like a little fun little project or hobby thing that you could be doing if you wanted to kind of dabble in it i'm not i'm not i'm not really into like like uh creating games so i just thought that this is like really super cool when it comes down to creating and and and, and good ideas when it comes so so this is that's the second thing i'm going to be i'm going to be setting up so you're going to see how i just go through and set up how to not really show you how because i make mistakes so i don't want you know say if you want to follow what i did it's up to you I just wanted to just kind of let you see some of the necessary steps that I took to set this thing up. So let's get into it. Okay, off the, off the package, I usually like to format my SD card. So FAT32 is what we're going to go with. You know, I ain't going to change nothing else. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this thing going and we're just going to format it and it's all done. Second, I found out that there's no more Jealous, so it's called Rocknix. So that's going to be the firmware that we're going to be using. We're going to look for our RGB30 and we're gonna go ahead and download that put that up in the save as we're gonna um we're gonna go ahead and extract the file if it got if it's got to be extracted slap it on your desktop or go ahead and um put it somewhere into a folder you're gonna need it in, in a couple of seconds all right we are all good let's do this now we're gonna go to etcher go to etcher we're gonna look for our file and we're gonna look for our sd card we're gonna flash that joint and um yeah so we're gonna supersonic right there and um everything's looking good we're gonna Go ahead and set that up so we can flash it out and wait for a bit. 
let it smooth in. Now we're smooth and ready to go. Let's pop this thing up inside the, the handheld. We're gonna pop this uh this little SD card up inside the handheld and we're gonna let it go ahead and do its thing. So the first beginning of it, it's gonna take a bit for it to load up and install and all that kind of good stuff. So you just gotta sit back, relax, go ahead and grab your cup of coffee or soda or something like that, then come back and everything should be set up and ready to go. Look at you. Now you now you notice your screen is a little bit darker than normal. Oh, we're gonna fix that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go right to your push to start, go right to your system settings, and then we're gonna scroll down to that display brightness and we're gonna pump that baby right on up pump pump the jam then now we're gonna go back and uh, set up our network get a network set up do your, all your little necessary stuff to do what you gotta do your network is set up if you want to check out your uh, check and see if there's an update do you update if you if you don't need one you just don't need one now now after that we're gonna go ahead and just slap our our SD card up in there, 128 gigs. That's what I have. You can go up higher if you want to. Then what we're going to do, we're going to shut this thing down, shut it down like a Wu-Tang Clan video. We're going to pop the SD card in. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put slap it up in there. It's going to do its necessary stuff. So we're going to install the files right there in there. Now everything's everything's all set up and you're going to go ahead and go back to that, that menu and you're going to shut it down again and get your dance on because now you got your ROMs to do. Now as you're back on your PC, you see, notice that you got a new folder with your ROMs in it inside there. And you're going to pop in your BIOS, all your BIOS files, and you're going to pop in all your necessary ROMs or games, we want to call it, right into the corresponding folder. I can't tell you how to find those things. Um, I'm hoping that you do have them, but I'm quite sure it should be pretty easy looking for those type of files. And also I have mentioned before, if you have other handhelds that has the games already loaded up in them or those hard drives, you know what to do. Yeah. So now that you got everything and all your stuff is there, we ain't get to the Pico 8 yet. I just wanted to just kind of show you seeing how everything loads up. I have to say the design of this handheld is amazing. When I first saw it online, I thought it was small and having it up close in your hand because I'm, I have big hands and I I thought it was like really tiny, but having it in your hands, it's it's actually a really good size. I mean, seriously, and feel of it, it doesn't give you like, it's, it doesn't have any smudges, leave any smudges or anything like that. The colors of it just bouncy. You you will love this thing. You you will be hooked on it. I can't put it down. I cannot put it down. And I haven't even got to the whole Pico yet. I was just just playing these arcade games, taking advantage of this particular type of screen is really, really good. And for real, the controls, everything. And to me, the way the design of it, man, it's just off the chain, man. I, I mean, for real, I give it mad respect. So let's go ahead and get to the, let's go ahead and get to the Pico now. There's one more thing I want to tell you before I, we go, we get to Pico 8 while I'm playing this. This is what I had to do, okay? Go to your main menu, okay? We go to your main menu, go to game settings, Go to per game configuration, then go to Pico 8, change the emulator to RetroArc Fake 8. Remember that, okay? So once you do that, then we can go to this next step. All right, yo, get those wallets ready, ballers. Come on, come on. Let's, uh, let's get it. Let's get it. Now we have Pico 8. I, I, I searched on Google and I landed on this particular site. I'll lay up a link in the description. Okay. Now, as you scroll down, you can, you can do one, to, you could do one or the other, but you have to do one. So the biggest thing is that the fact is you got to pay 15 bucks for the, for the, the program and everything. So, which is pretty cheap. So, and you get a full of games and you'll be able to see more. So what I did, I, I did an account. Also, I just paid the 15, but um, you're going to get an email. They're going to down they, so you can download the necessary files for Pico 8. OK, so you're going to get you're going to get all of them. You're going to get the Windows. You're going to get Mac. You get Linux. OK, so me, what I did, I got Linux and you put it in the folder. Make sure you just go ahead and unzip that file, unzip that file and hook it up and then pop it right up inside the Pico 8 BIOS. Do it in the Pico 8 BIOS, the folder. Okay. Throw that folder in there. And then next thing you know, just go get go ahead and you can go back to the site, download new CRUMs or JPEG files. You can go ahead and just like I said, you can get a pack, search it up and try to find it. So shouldn't be too much of a problem. So once you so once you find once you get that, go ahead and load that up inside your 
SD card, pop your SD card back up on your, your handheld or console, and let's go back. Welcome to the world of Pico 8. New experience for me, and I hope it's a new experience. Look at all these games that I have never played, never heard of, and just discovering what could be a good game that you would be hooked on. So simple, so just just so inviting and so like it just get hooked on it. and there's a there's a lot there's a lot of and i haven't found my favorites yet but there are a few that i'm just kind of tampering around with and, and testing out in different type and i hope that you guys find some games that you might you might get into let me know what good some good games that you discovered that i didn't know anything about that's really good i'm a big fan of rpgs like the zelda types and stuff like that and also i am into like the whole Mega Man's type of style of games and i know there are probably games for that so i'm gonna end it right here i hope that you guys hope i i hope that you're able to get yours working um i i just like i said i make mistakes sometimes so if there's even a faster way to to set this whole thing up please leave it in the comments for we got to try to help out each other so that'd be that'd be awesome so okay you guys thank you guys for watching and from gaming to gamer peace out